What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a makeup look for you today with all natural green beauty products. So I am not a makeup artist by any means, but I thought I would show you guys, you know, what I use when I do my makeup when I go out or when I'm filming or, you know, just when I want to do my makeup and the green beauty products that I use. So everything is 100% natural green beauty products. It's a mixture of stuff I bought from Credo Beauty. It's, you know, all different brands, beauty counter, you'll kind of, you know, experience it all. I am currently filming in my living room-ish. Um, this is my apartment. If you wanna see my apartment tour, I will link it up here. But I tried filming this in my bathroom, but the light was really weird because we have sunlights in our bathroom. So it just like, it kept going in and out and it just like looked really strange and I feel like you couldn't tell what was going on. So I am filming out here. I apologize if Bodie and Kurt make an appearance at some point. Bodie is obviously at home and Kurt works from home, so. Thanks guys. I have a couple things going on today. I just got my Imperfect Produce box, which you can see right there. So I wanna film um, a video showing you guys what I got in it. I'm also doing a beauty counter haul review um, and I have an event tonight. So I have a lot of stuff going on. I definitely you know, wanna do my face up. I wanna make sure it lasts all day. So I thought I would just show you what I use. So I got everything in this bag. Well, everything that I use like Frequently, I have so much more than this. Like, it's really, really bad. I have like two bathrooms full of products. So bad. But I just prep my face by washing it, cleaning it. If you haven't seen my skincare video, I will link that below and up here at some point. So I just went through that process and uh, my skin is nice and clean. Um, a few little breakouts around my chin area, which is really, you know, where I break out the most. But yeah, I'm gonna show you kind of how I cover it up. Not that I think you have to cover it up. I very much go like this through my life all the time but sometimes you just like want to wear makeup and i think that's totally fine i hate when people kind of like hate on like self-love and, and makeup wearing like as though they can't go hand in hand i just enjoy wearing makeup and it's fine so anyway let's jump in i'm going to show you what i use on my face so to kick things off um i ran out of my vapor primer so i've been trying out a bunch of new ones to see if there's one i like better i do really like the vapor primer so i will buy it again if i don't find anything but right now i've been using the juice beauty it's just like a little um freebie i think it came in like a credo beauty box and i've been trying that out and i actually really really like it so i'm giving it a couple more tries if there's any left in this <laughs> Oh no, I totally thought there was more. Oh no, there is more, okay. You definitely don't need a lot of this stuff. Just rub it in. I like using a primer on days when I know that I am going to be wearing my makeup all day because it really does help it last. Otherwise, it just, you know, you know the feeling when like you feel like your makeup is just like dripping off your face. But yeah, I have an event tonight. So that is with, who's that with? Oh, it's with La Brea Bakery which I'm really excited. And there's gonna be a lot of people there that I know, so I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, I need something that's gonna last all day. I actually really, really like this stuff, so I think I might go into Credo and buy it. But next up, I'm going to put on my foundation. And you guys know this, but I am obsessed with the Gressa foundation. It is literally the best thing in the entire world. Probably my favorite makeup product of 2017. Yeah, um, so this is their Minimalist Corrective Serum Foundation. By the way, I will link all the products I'm using below, just so you know you can find them. Um, give it a good shake, and then I use a beauty blender to put the product on my face. So to do this, I usually take like about two drops onto the side of my hand, grab my beauty blender, and then I start putting it on my face like that. And this is definitely like a more full coverage foundation. If you don't want so full coverage, um, I would say go for the Vapor foundation. It's definitely a little bit lighter, more dewy than this one. I, I find this one to be a bit more matte, um, but yeah, just kind of my jam. Hello. <laughs> We are nice and close now, so you can see. I also have really bad eczema on my eyelids that I'm trying to work on, so if you guys have any advice for eczema and how to help heal it, let me know in the comments below because it has been a couple months now and I'm using special like natural eczema cream and it's not helping, so uh, I don't know what to do. So next up, I'm using the Alima Pure Concealer. And you know, I think this is okay. I'm not like blown away by the product. I just use my fingers and I tap it over, 
you know, wherever, wherever I have zits, which uh, fortunately is not a lot of them right now. And uh, under eyes, and I just kind of press that in. And then I usually go over it with my beauty blender just to make sure it's, you know, well mixed in, but it's pretty good. It's definitely lighter. Like I don't think like if you have a huge, huge zit, it's gonna cover it up, but I think it, it does a pretty good job. So next up, this stuff is amazing. This is the Ritual Defee. They call it cream blush, but it comes in like all different colors essentially. Um, so I actually use it as contour, which I don't know why you know anyone would use this color as a blush anyway. <laughs> so um, I just use my fingers. I've actually hit pan on this one because I love it so much and I just do it like that. Now, I think you can totally skip this step if you are not into contouring. This is definitely something that's like a little bit, not more advanced, but just like an unnecessary step if you, you know, don't uh, wanna wear too much makeup. But I just enjoy doing this, so yeah. So then I use my beauty blender to just press that in. Making sure you really like get into the hairline. I find sometimes it like weirdly you know, kind of gets stuck around and then you're like, oh, that's cool. I'm clearly the wrong color. Not bad, right? So then I like to do blush. I have a couple different ones. Uh, this one is the Well People Universalist Color Stick in Pink Coral. I really like this one. It's sort of lighter and I just go like that. And once again, Beauty Blender to the rescue. I love this thing. I know it eats product, but I really love it. <laughs> um, and then next up is highlighter. And actually, I went out to eat a couple of nights ago and I, my makeup was done, it was date night. And uh, someone came up to me and complimented me on my highlight. She said that it was awesome and I was really excited about that. And that is 100% because of this vapor. It's the Halo Illuminator in Moonlight. I've said this before, but I actually think it's better than RMS Living Luminizer. It's more like rose colored, so I think it works really well with my skin tone, but I kind of go heavy on it. I like to do it here and here, up here, down my nose and on my Cupid's bow. And then just quickly, you know, just help it blend in. Okay, so next up, bronzer. Again, if you um, didn't contour, I would definitely skip to this step. This is the Beauty Counter um, Matte Bronzer. I love this stuff. It's so, so good. It's the only, you know, in terms of like ingredients, I wouldn't say it's like the cleanest, but I haven't found anyone that has been able to do a like matte powder, like pressed bronzer this well. So whatever. Look at that highlight. Mm, the best. I like to put a little bit of bronzer on my nose, personally. Okay, next step is like the most important step. And I think you can guys, I think you can guys, that doesn't make any sense. And I think you guys can probably guess what it is. De Brouge. If you have seen any of my videos for green beauty stuff, you can probably guess uh, what product this is gonna be. Eco Brow, love Eco Brow, it's the best. Um, this one I'm using is in Penelope. I also have it in Sharon when I want a more like natural look. This is, I would say this is probably more like intense. I don't know, just makes like a bolder brow. And the way I do this, this is really hard to do when uh, I don't have a huge mirror. So I kind of line my brows like that. And then uh, once they're lined, I just kind of fill them in like that. just so they're not like so, so wild. And you can kind of go heavier or lighter on this. I'm going a little bit lighter today, mostly because I can't see. And then I usually, just so it doesn't look like too perfect, I go over it with a brush and just kind of brush up. And then I need something to hold them in place because they literally have a life of their own. So um, I use the Jillian Dempsey Lid Tint, um, which you're supposed to use on your lids. I don't understand why, <laughs> looks like this. <laughs> I use it over my brows to kind of keep them in place and it's just like a clear, I don't, I don't even know what to call this, like it's almost like gel. 
but it's not actually gel and it just keeps these babies in place so they like don't you know try to run off my face or whatever they want to try and do today when it comes to eyeshadow palettes i live for this one from lily lolo it just has like all the colors i need um i'm probably going to use the mirror from this but i'm not actually going to use this today why because i want to keep it super super simple look who came to join us <laughs> Oh, and then look who, who also came to join us. I'm actually gonna use the Beauty Counter Bronzer as my eyeshadow, just like that. And then, really, really natural. I just don't want, you know, a ton of stuff on my, my eyelid. Also, this is partially because of my eczema. I don't wanna be wearing a ton of product on there. Something that I like to do is grab a little brush like this. It's not really a brush, I don't know. I don't even know what to call this. Um, this is how much of a makeup artist I am. And I like to do it underneath my eyes like that. I just find, especially if you use brown and you have brown eyes, it really helps your eyes pop. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeliner. Hi, Bo. Boney, go away. I'm just kidding, I love you. You can hang out as long as you want. So I am gonna do a little bit of eyeliner I'm gonna use this one, who is this by? There isn't even a name on it. Ilia? I think this might be the Ilia one. I actually don't really like this one that much, but I just wanna use black. Um, so that's the one that I have. I will figure out which one it is and I will link it below. And I'm just gonna do this, the top. Here we go. I'm not gonna do my waterline today cause I don't feel like it. <laughs> Um, and then, last step, mascara. This is the Lily Lolo Mascara. Best one on the market, by landslide. I've tried a ton of them, nothing really compares to this stuff. I am a huge fan. Again, this is kinda hard to do without a big mirror, but I think you're probably getting the gist of it. I actually really love Lily Lolo products, and I find them to be more affordable. So I would say if you're sort of new to this space, definitely look into Lily Lolo, cause they're just a really good quality company that, you know, is not insanely, insanely expensive. Bye. Okay, here's the actual last step, um, lipstick. I am going to use this one from Ilya because you know I love Ilya lipstick and this one is in, and this one is in Perfect Day. It's just like a nice orangey color. Kind of nice for, uh, for fall. It's like a brighter orangey color and it's just so, it's like, it's like putting moisturizer on your lips. It's also a really pretty color. So there you have it. This is the finished makeup look. Um, it's nothing like too, too crazy. I really find that if you get a really good quality foundation that it makes a huge difference. And then eyebrows, a little bit of lipstick. You really don't have to go like super heavy, but I just don't think there's enough people providing like not tutorials, but just showing makeup looks using green beauty products. So that's why I wanted to do this. And you guys asked for it on Instagram stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely do that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I would love if you did that. There's so many more green beauty videos coming soon. So if you like this stuff, definitely hang around. I also have a favorites, the favorites of all favorites video coming soon. So definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss that one. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Let me know if you enjoy these kinds of videos in the comments below or give this video a thumbs up. It just lets me know. And I know if you want to see more of them or if you're like, mm, no, not into this. So definitely keep me posted. And yeah, thanks guys. Have a good one. Bye.